Hello everybody, so today I want to actually walk you guys through how to add a roof to our activity model. And so the first portion we're going to work on because we have um, our model actually split into two different elements. We're first going to work on this top level and from there we're going to work on this bottom level. Okay, so the first thing I want you guys to do is go to our level two, since we're going to be adding the roof onto level two first. And then after that, we will go to back to level two to actually create that roof on that first level. So I'm going to go to level two. And so I want to actually create a roof over this area here. So the first thing I want you guys to do is go to your architecture tab. From there, scroll over till you get to your roof. Click down on those options. And you have a lot of different options you can play around with. For the purpose of this um, tutorial, we're going to work with the roof by footprint. So I'm going to select roof by foot footprint. Again, you guys will notice that my ribbon changes at the top. I also have other options in this green ribbon right below um, my uh, main ribbon that I have. So a couple of things I want you guys to pay attention to before we start to sketch out that model um, for our roof is you have the option to define slope. All that means is that there's going to be some type of angle to the roof that you create. If you're trying to create a flat roof, you want to make sure that you uncheck define slope. That will just give you the basic roof straight up, straight up, uh, um, across, excuse me, without having any angles with it. We also want to pay attention to our overhang. In this case, we're going to do an overhang of one foot. And that just means wherever I choose to sketch that roof off at, it's actually going to create that one foot overhang for that. The next thing I want you guys to pay attention to is underneath your properties bar is that base level. Right now we have that base level set to level two, which is not the level that we want our roof to come in at. If we're trying to create a roof for our second level, we want that to be on our level three because um, we want that roof to sit on top of that level two. OK, so you want to choose um, where you want that roof to begin when you're setting your base level. And in this case, we want that to be level three. OK, so now I think we're ready to begin. So you have a couple different options um, like you do if you're creating any other sketch in Revit is you can choose how you want to actually create that sketch. So you guys can choose to pick walls. You can choose to pick lines or you can actually go in and draw um, that roof um, layout by hand. So I'm actually going to select pick walls because it makes it a little bit easier and it goes a little quicker when you're doing it that way. So if I go down to my model and I hover, you guys will see a dotted line that appears one foot above the wall that I'm choosing. And that's because we've set that overhang at one foot. Okay. So I'm just going to go in and select all of those walls to create my roof boundary. Okay. And so this is my sketch. One thing, um, as you guys know, is that Revit will not create this roof if we have lines that are overlapping or we have lines that do not extend fully out. So what you want to do is once you actually create that sketch, you want to go back in and actually define and um, actually clean up those lines that you've created. So I'm just going to get my trim slash extend tool. And I'm going to select those lines again that I want to keep to start to clean up those lines that I've created. Okay. So now I have my sketch. As you guys see, all of the lines that we've created has a triangle that's attached to it. That means that there's a slope that's defined for this particular line. So if I select that, 
you're going to see that it brings up again that other ribbon and it has that overhang dimension that we put in and it also has that defined slope checked so if i was to unselect that defined slope that triangle would go away okay so i want to bring that back up because i do want to define um that slope one other thing you guys will notice is there's a number once you select that line that's attached to that triangle that goes into the slope that you're choosing to do for that particular roof okay and so if you're not familiar with slopes and roof pitches um this kind this um quick image kind of goes into um, what the, what those numbers mean so right now we have a slope and um, it's always going to be set at that 12 inches which is that second number that we see and that first number actually defines what degree that angle goes up at so right now we have a 9 by 12 pitch and so that means that our roof on all of those lines will be angled at around 37 degrees okay so obviously if you want that pitch to be lower you want to choose lower numbers if you want it to be higher you're going to choose those higher numbers up to 12 okay so we will actually play around with that um pitch after we actually get that roof defined okay so I've sketched out my roof. I have all of my slopes defined and I'm going to go ahead and select that green check mark at the top to finish this edit mode. Okay. So one thing you guys will notice is once you hit um, that check mark, you're not going to see that roof come into your model. That's because we're on level two and that roof starts at level three. So if we go to level three, we can see where that sketch um, has happened. OK, so if we go back to our um, basic 3D view and you guys can get to there by going to either your project browser, going down to 3D views and then that 3D that's in parentheses or you can go to view um, and click on that house and that will also take you to that 3D view. OK, so as you guys can see, that roof has been created in our model. Now, to go back to that pitch um, that I was talking about, if you select your roof, you can still change what you want that slope to be. So I'm going to select it and I'm actually going to take this to about 512. So I'm just going to click in that box, do five inches by 12 inches and hit apply and you guys will see that roof go down in that in that pitch in that slope okay so we have that roof created for that first portion of our um, model so now we want to actually create a roof for this area here okay so normally you would go to that level one but if we go to level one it makes it a little harder to see where we need to place that roof so instead i'm actually going to go to level two so that way i can actually see what area i need to place that roof at it just makes it a little bit easier to see that visibility so now I'm at that level two. I'm going to go back to my architecture tab. I'm going to go over to my roof tool, click down on the options, and I'm going to go to roof by footprint. Now, once I'm in there, I can start to again play around with what I want those options to be. So I'm going to keep it at defined slope for now. I'm going to still have my one foot overhang and I'm going to do mine again by picking my walls. So I'm just going to go in and start to select all of those walls that I need to create. Once I have that, I'm just going to clean up, clean up those lines. OK, and you can do this anyway where it makes it easier for you to do it. OK. OK. 
line. I'm just going to make sure that those lines are where I want them to be. Okay, and then you just want to check to make sure that that looks how you want that to look. Okay. So in this case, we have it complete. We have that sketch complete. We're going to go ahead and leave um, this roof at um, defined slope for now for all of our lines. And then I'm going to show you guys how to go back into that and edit that boundary if you want to change how that roof looks. So I have these lines created. I think everything's good. So I'm going to go ahead and select that green um, check mark at the top. And that's going to create, again, that roof for me. So if I go to that 3D view, I can see what that looks like. Okay. Now, if you wanted to change what this looks like, you're going to do that by that defined slope um, tool that we have. Okay. So in this case, if I look at this, this is a little too high. Um, than what I want it to be. So I'm actually going to change that slope in my properties bar to four inches by that 12 inches. And I'm going to hit apply. And that's going to make a little lower of a roof that I want here. Now, if I'm looking at this from that front view, I actually want this roof to slope down from this wall coming down. So our roof right now is not created correctly. So to go back into that roof tool to edit that um, profile, I'm just going to go to, I'm just going to select that roof and go to edit footprint. And that's going to take me back to the um, view where I can edit what those slopes look like. Okay, so I'm actually going to go back to level two so that I can see that a little bit more clearly. Okay, so once I'm actually in this tool, I want to slope that roof going to my right hand side if I'm looking at it from that front view. So in order to do that, you want to leave on defined slope for the um, area that needs to come down. If that makes sense. So in this case, I want this area, this wall over here, to actually connect to the walls in my activity model here. And I want that roof to slope down on this side. So this side should be lower than this side here. That's what we're trying to accomplish. Okay. So in order to do that, I'm actually going to turn off my defined slope for the area that needs to be higher. Okay, so it's a little backwards when you're thinking about it. So I'm just going to select all of those lines and I'm actually going to take off that defined slope option. So I'm just going to select the line, click off of defined slope, and I'm going to do that for all of the lines outside of this row here okay so i'm also want to undefine the slope on those sides as well okay so again just to um quote what i said before if you're trying to do just a um single sloped roof where it only slopes down at one area, you want to leave on defined slope for the line or for the axis that is to be um, on the bottom of your um, model. So if I want this area to be higher than this area here, I want the defined slope to be on that lower area that is to angle down. OK, so I have turned off all of the defined slope for all of my lines and I'm just going to keep it on this side here. So this looks good to me. I'm going to go ahead and click this green check mark to go ahead and finish that model. OK, so now if I go to my 3D view, 
we're actually going to see that sloped at that correct angle okay so remember what I said the the actual side that is to be the lower side in your actual um, slope needs to have the defined slope on the angle or the lines that are to be higher than this bottom portion all of those lines need to have that defined slope removed okay so now if we're looking at our model we notice again that there's an issue that's happening right our walls are not extending up to our roof so in order to fix that issue we're going to select the wall that we the walls that we want to extend up to this roof area so in this case I want this wall to extend up to the roof I'm going to select this wall once I select that wall my ribbon will change at the top and I just want to go all the way over to attach top slash base so I'm going to select that wall select attach top slash base and now I'm going to select what I want this wall to go up to so in this case I want this wall to go up to that roof so I'm going to select that roof and you're going to see that that wall now is actually connected where it needs to on that roof plane and I'm just going to do that all the way around um, my model so I'm going to select that wall, go to attach top base, and select that roof. So I'm just going to do that all the way around, okay? I'll make sure I'm selecting the right wall here. Move that around and you may it may take some maneuvering just to kind of get those angles so that you can see where those gaps are in your model. Okay. Okay, and I just want to make sure I'm getting all of those, all of those walls. Okay. All right. I'm just going to do one more turn around just to make sure that I got everything. Oh, I think I missed one. Let me go back into that one. Oh, missed that one. So I'm just going to select that wall, attach top base, select. Okay. And I'm just going to go to modify. Okay. And now, as you guys can see, we have a roof on our very top level and then that level um, that was on level one okay so this is what you want that to look like in order to see that in perspective again if we go to level one and then go to view click down on those options we have underneath our 3d view go to camera I'm just going to stand out here, select that, and that allows me to see that model in perspective. So as you guys can see, we see those roofs have been added. We've added everything else. Now we actually have a completed model for our activity model. Thank you.